So they'll be calling you a radical. We were getting a new sign. So maybe they could spend some money on clearing the fucking sidewalks. But anyway, yeah, it's March Madness. Boise, so, you know, I'm not a fan of these tournaments the way they play it out. The number one seed, Eastern Washington, goes undefeated until the last two games and lose, lose out. That's exactly what Willard did. They got beat by the nine seeds, won 10 games all year. So, Montana's back. <laughs> no go ever go away. Montana, NAU in the one semifinal, but Weber won last night, State, and Weber State. Montana State in the rematch from that epic classic last year. So that game was a classic. And we were lost, you know. We were five year transfers, couldn't make a free throw and bricked it. I'm not a fan of the transfer portal. I'm not a fan of any of that. I like players that come and play the whole time. It's a credit to Eric and Coach Daniels and crew what they've done this year. I mean, and you got players like K.J. Cunningham and Zaire Porter who Randy Ray had destroyed them. You know, I'm really not a fan of Randy Ray's. And anyway, they've got a new lease on life. I mean, here they go. And so it should be a classic up there tonight. And uh, it's a credit to Eric. It's been, you know, we go back to Randy Rayism. I got in a big argument and fight with him right after the last time we was in the tournament and got knocked out by Xavier. When he got home, I'm like, what the fuck, Randy? Oh, they just got more talent and they're better. I said, that's what you say every time. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Xavier lost in the second round to a team that had way less freaking talent than you. You know, you got to realize who was on that team. Joe Ballin boy, Jeremy Siegman. I mean... The talent he had, and he couldn't win in March. He never won in March. They got annihilated. And so, talent? Oh, Jeremy Sieglin, Scotty Banforth, Joe Ballenboy. I says, oh, really? You don't have enough talent? Like You mean like Damian Lillard? Lillard says he's going to put 100 up in a game. Okay, okay. You know, I wish he would have put up a few more in the Big Sky Championship game. It's twice when he lost, head by 20, but... We'll sell some more merchandise. And uh, the NBA is not a... The NBA is a sports merchandising company, so it should be a classic up there tonight. Speaking of, I mean, big center for Montana State, I think he's about 40 years old. <laughs> he's been there for, you know... I think he's been there since the Lord played. But anyway, what Weaver's come around. The way they started out that season, it didn't look like they could win a game. You know, and... It's amazing what they've done. And so it should be a classic up there tonight. I'm really not a fan of these tournaments in these things. I mean, it's a neutral floor, but come on. I mean, Eastern out, what a hell of a year they had. But so Montana, NAU. <laughs> NAU won 10 games all year. Of course, you know, I think Montana's the five seed. We was a three seed. Montana State's the second seed, you know, and so it should be something else. So we were getting some new signage. Hmm. It's been a hell of a journey. I wish I was in Boise, but my health just open heart surgery. It's eight weeks today. You're gonna flip the can today behind your back. I'll go see what the doctor says here on my way. So, it's been a hell of a journey. Spring break? Don't look like spring to me. So, go either. Should be a freaking classic up there. You know, so. And that wild finish that ain't. Oh my God. Just shows you, you got to make free throws. You know, and you can't foul people on three point shots, but. I talked to KJ right there. Redford Tournament, and I says, you know, you got a new lease, man. Just go up there and win that tournament. That's all. Just go win. <laughs> you know? And this team is finds a way to win. Incredible. How they find a way to win. They're going to be hoisting a trophy? I hope. It's been a while. 
so glad that Randy Reyes is gone. You know, I like the whole coaching style, the atmosphere, bringing the fans back. You know, but one last thing. When we're going to retire Wat Masaka, first player of color in the history of the NBA, Mr. Lillard, two national championship from Weaver State. Yeah, he's from here. Born and raised in August, played at Weaver State. How come his number's not retired? Huh. Yeah, good question. So go, Weaver. Let's keep it going for a minute. I want to see the sign go up. God, do we have snow. You know, I'm watching the snow report this morning, and Basin's reporting 150 inches, I think, a base, somewhere around there, 140 something. Powder Mountain is reporting 80. Now, can that be possible? No. By the way, this is real. 1970s. Authentic like me. So, anyway, hopefully we can hoist the Big Sky Tournament trophy. Uh, KJ had career high last night. You know, this Montana State. And I know... Montana State coach. He and I used to go to March Madness together. Danny, uh, he's a hell of a coach. But, you know, so it should be a classic. Last year, it came down to a free throw shooting contest, and the guy who had missed a free throw the entire year, Zaire Porter, was on the bench. You know? So, you listen to Clout, he, he's the man. He does such an excellent job. So... Signage. What a art this is. The great art signage places of Ogden, you know, the China Night. I know where it's at, you know, so, but all the great signage in Ogden's coming down, including over the Washington Boulevard. Ogden City decided they don't like neon no more. I got nobody to do it. I know three people that still did neon and they offered to do it for free. But that's Ogden for you. The people that run this place aren't even from this place. Don't have a clue, rhyme or reason. Don't care. They don't know the history. They don't care about it, you know? Everything's about money anymore, isn't it? <laughs> Which is pretty pathetic, pretty sad. So let's hope we, we were kind of, it's been a while, right? Since we were hoisted up the trophy. God, can you believe this winter? What a winter. I'm happy to be alive. I've been eight weeks today in rehab from the open heart surgery. You know, they destroyed, I mean, born with a bad orc valve. Right there's where the moose was killed. I broke that story. So, when he was on the Weaver State Pond. So, well, we were hoist the trophy. We've been waiting <laughs> a long time. You know. And by the way, you got a lot of money, it looks like, Weaver. Why don't you clear the fucking sidewalks? Spring break. God, what a cold ass winter. So, to Brad, the president, I'm friends with him. When are you going to put a statue? A lot of retirees and put a statue of Fawn McKay Brody here. <laughs> you don't think they blackball people on this university? Got a long history of it. Ask Fawn McKay Brody. Ask Wat Masaka. Ask Kevin Lynch. Stand up to the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate. By the way, the D Event Center, the Pearl Palace, that's the house the nuclear cartel built. The merger of GE and General Electric, 1975. So here we go. Are we going to hoist it? Electronic, I guess. Yes, go. Yeah, we'll come back. Let's see. Tomorrow. After tonight's game, it's so late. They run these games late up there for TV. You know, Boise? God, it was in Reno. Well, it used to be at the, you know, should have been at Eastern. The home, the team that went it should get it. And they almost always won it. 
all except for when Lillard played, up by 23 points in the second half. Yeah, that's right. Number one free throw shooter in the country, Mr. Lillard, and they lost. I'll never forget it. I've been around a lot of basketball in my life, including watch Valvano cut down the nets there, including the Huntsman watch Nash, 15 seed, beat Stottlemyre. You know, so many of these iconic games here. You know, Lamar, Billy Tubbs knocks out Neil you know, McCarthy's great career, Bruce Collins. So many classics here. Jason's kids' last game, the Cheeseheads, Green Bay sent them packing in the D event center. So, God, are we ever going to get spring? I don't know, but this is one hell of a winter. So let's, we'll come back, I guess, and see. You a Basin guy or Powder Mountain? I'm neither one now. They cost too much. I used to be a Powder Mountain here. Serenity now. But I understand a day pass up there is $125. They've turned into a luxury good. I like to have everything in this country, including the NBA. Take the kitties. We'll pay you $15 a beer. Watch a shitty-ass product. The NBA is not a sport. It's a sports merchandising company. That's just a fact. So, anyway, we'll see if they hoist it after tonight. Should be a classic up there. Big Sky Basketball. Big Sky Sports. <laughs> mm -hmm. The best kept secret in the country. It's a real sport. These games are so competitive. These athletes are so good. And, you know, fly under the radar. Oh, yeah. Stand in.